go, Bob. What do you reckon to this? Why are we here, Paul? Well, I thought I'd take you away from all the rampant commercialism of Christmas. I'll take you fishing in some of the finest waters in the world, Bob. That's great. Yeah? What's this place called? Norway. Oh, Norway! Yeah. Did you not notice on the plane <laughs> on the way over? <laughs> Am I with you for the entire trip? You certainly are, you lucky, lucky boy. Merry Christmas! Come on. So, Paul, yeah. please, justify to me why we are in Norway for our Christmas trip. Well, oh. there isn't even any snow. Well, look at it. Look at this landscape. It's elemental. I'm trying to get you away from the over-commercialised plastic me, 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 want, want, want Christmas, Bob. Yeah. I'm taking you on a spiritual journey as well, Paul. We're going to break you down, right, and build you up Dear again. Dear Santa, for Christmas, could I be broken down? <laughs> yeah, it's only a metaphor, Bob. But we are, I am going to take you to, brace yourself now, the Maelstrom. What's that? It's only the most turbulent sea in the world. Oh, thanks, Paul. Yeah. Oh, it's like a whirlpool in the ocean. Yeah, but on a vast scale. And it's... you thought Bob would like that for Christmas? <laughs> what fish might we catch on this trip? I think we might get a halibut. Halibut? You'd love an halibut. That's halib a beautiful fish. You'd love an halibut, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oops. Just go. That's going nowhere, mate. Explain yourself, Paul. You've put us in a ditch. Yeah. Is that a Christmas <laughs> thing? <laughs> it's very traditional in Norway to kind of drive into a ditch. To just drift to over. drift slightly <laughs> into a ditch, Bob, yeah. <laughs> Reverse six centimetres. You reckon? Yes! <laughs> Come on. Go on, son. Go on, son. Go for it. Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Yay! I'll tell you a what festive swerve. A festive swerve. It was a Christmas drama, wasn't it? <laughs> Where exactly are we in Norway, Paul? Do you want me to give you yeah. a geography lesson? Go on, then. Let's have a look at the lie of the land. This is Norway, long, thin, with a bulbous end, right? Yeah. So we are in the best island, archipelago. We're right up north and, and we're, we're on the west. Yeah. We're above the Arctic Circle in Santa Land. Yeah, we are. We're close to Santa. Now we're going to go into Lofoten. Mm. We're going to try and fish there. Right. Come on. Are you feeling apprehensive? Yeah. Is this the sea here or is this a lock or something? I'll tell you what it is. It's kind of like a sea lock. Nice and calm. Is it salt water? Yes, it's salt water. I'm going to give you a sort of gentle introduction to the sea. I'm not even going to take you out on a boat, Bob. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're on the rocks, you know. Those cows are a bit vocal, aren't they? Yeah. Nord cow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, you all right as your yeah. knees? No, I find it was uh, full of, on my left butt, right buttock. So. You've brought me to the north. This is well, <laughs> You haven't gone again. I've got a problem with me Timpson's soul. Oh. Come <laughs> Oh, a bit exposed there, Bob. Oh. Wow. Look at this. Nice, though, isn't it? This vista sums up Norway for me. It does a bit, doesn't it? This is a Norway in a nutshell. It's a Nordic nutshell, isn't it, really? Stark beauty, but man hasn't tamed this land. Bob. And it never will. No. What about a catch? Uh, maybe some cod. Yeah. Haddock. Possibly ling. Go on in. Good cast. Right. It's weird, Paul. We come to this, what I have felt was a bit of a grim landscape. Mm. But you settle with it, you watch the motion of the waves and the majesty of these mountains. Mm. 
and suddenly you're an extra in Lord of the Rings waiting for your moment, aren't you? The council is in session. If you look at it up there, look, yeah. it really is Lord of the Rings, isn't it? <laughs> Getting a bit nippy now, isn't it? Yeah. What's in your bag of fun? Well, my hands are about to drop off. I've got some gloves. Cool, they're substantial, aren't they? Oh, are your hands a bit chilly? Yeah, my hands are a bit cold. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> they're not bad, though. Oh, Paul, you couldn't just press that button for me, could you? You could just give that button a press with your cold hands, your cold, bony hands. What the...? Heated gloves in your face. <laughs> oh! Three, st three stripes. Three bars of you heat. You could literally cook inside there. Three bars of heat. What if you popped an egg in there now, right? Yeah. What's that, gloves? You're here to keep me warm. <laughs> For up to six hours. <laughs> yes, he hasn't got any. I know. Are you talking to... I know, so, I know. Are you talking to your gloves? Yeah, why not? Have you not got a relationship with your gloves? <laughs> I've noticed that we look after each other a little bit more now, Paul. Don't we? Without bit. anything being said. Oh, I'll just get that. Yeah. Would you like me to yeah. tie that? True. Well, that's quite touching, isn't it? Yeah. It's why you don't really want to be alone when you're older, you know? Yeah. It's why sometimes it's better to stick together, see it through, look after each other. See it through to the grave? Well, can you imagine? I mean, I, as I get older, I'm quite proud of the fact that I've been married in 34, 30, four years or something. It almost feels like an end in itself. Yeah, we're going to do this. Hey, let's see one. Whoa, it's a bit of cardio, isn't it? <laughs> when, I, when I was first shown that by my uncle, oh, he was my hero. It's magic, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. What's oh, happening? Oh, that's a good one. Go on! Yeah. No. No? Let's face it, we need some help. We do, we're not doing very well. I bought this a long pole, trumpet. What do you mean a trumpet for? Because they use a trumpet to call in the fish. It's an old Norwegian thing. It's and not, is we it? We are doing so badly. Go on then, give oh. us a tune. OK. That's it, address the trumpet. That's it. Right. Yep. Come on then. Bring us luck, Paul. No, it might, it might do. Maybe well, I should have done, done it nearer the maybe, fish. Yeah, maybe you should stand up and address the mountain with it. Where's a good spot to look magnificent? <laughs> Come to me, Coley. <laughs> Let's be having you earrings. <laughs> Wow. I never liked jazz till now. <laughs> well, that was a bit disappointing. Yeah. Boy. It was. That's fishing, Bob, isn't it? That's fishing. You know, some, some you win, some you lose. We didn't have long. We only had a couple of hours, eh? Extraordinary place to have done it, though. Yeah, it, it was, wasn't it? I think I've mastered this machine now. The accommodation, Paul, that yeah. we're going to mm -hmm. is the highest accommodation that we've ever stayed in and also the most exposed and we're taking a boat. Oh. Come on, mate. Hey. <laughs> Thing compared to 
we got in. So we are approaching your accommodation, Paul. Is that in there? Ah! There it is. White House in a lighthouse. <laughs> Blimey, Bob. Hey! Hey, what's happening here? We're being winched up. So we really are trying Christmas in the middle of nowhere, Paul. Yeah. Away from it all. This is true. Never seen anything like this before, Bob. A boat lift. A boat lift? Boat... Come on. You bring me to some places, didn't you? Yeah, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Come on, get a bit of speed, huh? Bob, those steps. There you go, Paul. Little Island Lighthouse. Hey. Your was... accommodation for the evening. Well, it was worth that clamber, wasn't it, with yeah. a, those bags? Do you think there's enough books for one night? Mm. Not sure I'm a really voracious yes, reader. I know. There are a lot, aren't there? I'm going to take this room. I'd rather be in here anyway, okay. mate. It's purpler. Purple, that's me, Bob. Wow. God, look at that. Well, welcome to the Christmas Lighthouse. It is a bit Christmassy in here, isn't it? Mr. Festive. Yeah. Paul Whitehouse. Yeah. Oh. May your times be merry. Yeah. May there be beer in your belly. Come on in, Bob. Let's turn in, eh? Yeah. I'll read you one of them books, get you off to sleep. Lovely. Come on, Bob, where are you? Hold up, here he comes, look. <laughs> Hello. Well. Good morning to you. I brought you yeah. a Norwegian Christmas breakfast. Ooh, breakfast, Bob. Yeah, oh, and one other little touch. Pocket rose. For my <sighs> friend, Mr. Whitehouse. Bob, can I, can I just say? That signifies something a little more than friendship, doesn't it? What does it signify? I'm a gardener. It's a gesture of love, Bob. Well, I do love being away with you, Paul. Oh, well, thank you very much. Right. Let me talk you through yeah, it. Yeah, it's very uh, colourful, isn't it? This is Burr cheese from the town of Burr. This is lightly pickled herring with egg and potato. This is cloudberry jam. What made out of clouds, like? Ah, You've, what must you take us literally, for, man? There's a big mac and goes up and grabs a bit of cloud. Cool, blimey. Do you know, I was thinking about this island. It's a precarious existence, isn't it, really? Yeah. Somewhere as remote as this. I mean, I do know what you mean, Paul. Come away for Christmas, get away from all the commercialisation. Oh, you're coming round now, are you? I'm not saying I've come round, but I see the idea behind it. Let's leave that all behind and just concentrate on, you know, each other's company and be grateful for stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm starting to go the other way myself. <laughs> hey, talking of being on your own, mm. we ain't got Ted with us, it's sad, isn't it? Do you miss right. him? Well, yeah, I do miss him and he'd have loved it here, wouldn't he? Oh, he In did. and out the water. I think he'd have gone rogue, though. I don't think we would have got him back, would we? No, we'd have lost him. No. You know, we're missing Ted, but I bet he ain't missing us, Bob. No. Don't you think? I do agree. There's a little bit of a disconnect sometimes behind the eyes, isn't mm. there? Maybe he needs a bit of dog counselling. Mm. What do you think? How, how would that work? I don't know. I'm not a dog counsellor. I bet they're out there. Yeah, I'm a dog counsellor. I'm registered. Corgi. Corgi approved. <laughs> so where's our next fishing pole? It's not the maelstrom, is it? Bob, you're not ready for the maelstrom. I don't feel I am, no. I told you we've got to break you down and then build you up bit by bit. Wow. Well, this is some place. Best for Ireland. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, we are going to go and fish for cod out in the sea, just yeah. off the fjord. Yeah. Oh, I could fish for cod off the coast of Middlesbrough, couldn't I? Well, you could, but you wouldn't catch any. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, here they're going to be pristine, beautiful cod. Tasty. Yeah? Probably the king of fish on the table. Certainly for most of Britain. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I like halibut. You like a bit of halibut, don't I you? I do like halibut, yes. Yeah, well, there's a very good chance we're getting halibut and all. Really? Yeah, getting halibut and all. <laughs> <laughs> 
You see that, Bob? The sea heagle? Sea eagle. Yeah, look. It doesn't have to do anything. Look, it hasn't flapped its wings in about 10 years. No, it hasn't. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Up Hello, we go sir. now. Come on, we're going to go and meet Jürgen, who's <laughs> taking us out today. Go on. Hiya, Jürgen. Hello. Sorry, Jürgen, you're with two very old nice men to meet today. You. It's going to be good, I think. Paul, I am grateful yeah. for you bringing me to Norway for a special Christmas Are day. you a little bit frightened, though? As for the maelstrom, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. No, Paul. you have absolutely no desire to go there. I have no desire to face death. Well, it's not certain death. Oh, no, it's not. It's more certain than, say, sitting in your bed watching Holmes Under the Hammer. It's well, all relative, what, with it? your heart? Yeah. 30,000 pounds? Oh, <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> There's um, a particular sort of geographical feature about the seabed here. The seabed drops down really quickly into the ocean. Right. And that provides a very rich feeding ground for a whole host of aquatic creatures. You're such an interesting man occasionally. Well, sometimes I really am. Come on. Let's angle. Couple of wines in, Bob. Yeah. And then there's the bottom. There you go, on the bottom. Two, three turns up. It was just like Christmas. It was just like Christmas. It was just like Christmas. I'm fishing good, Paul. Are you, mate? Yeah. I don't think I am. But you're better at this sort of thing than me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a bite. That's not... a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In. That's a fish. <laughs> Shall I get out of the way or carry on? Yeah, OK. Try and reel him in. I reel. Try straight line or a tight line. <laughs> Bob's in. <laughs> I keep winding, Jürgen, yeah? Yeah, keep winding. When the fish comes here, I see it now. Ooh, it's a cod. Look at the size of him. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that, Bob. There we go. Bloody hell, man. <laughs> Norwegian Christmas cod. Wow. Whoa. Oh, God, he's muscular, isn't he? Well, they fight, don't he look fresh and oh, healthy? Oh, yeah, thanks. Look at that. Can I catch one now? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Can I give it to you? Absolutely. Oh. Congrats. <laughs> Keep going, old timer. There's still Just a lot of fish going. here if you want to keep fishing. Yeah. yeah. There'll need to be a lot for Paul to get one. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm sorry. <laughs> have you ever had a Christmas abroad? No, I never have. No, never have fancied it? No, not really, no. Because, believe it or not, Bob, I do actually like Christmas. Yeah. But I think it's just been trashed beyond belief. Oh, you're always saying that. Yeah, I do, but hang about. Here's my new revolutionary approach to Christmas. Right? I'm going to put it out there to the Christmas gods, match Christmas to the World Cup. So once every four years, then it'd be really special. I'm just to let that one... I'll come back to you on that. That is interesting. Yeah. There you go. So, Paul, we're in Halibut Alley. We're in Halibut Alley. I mean, I've given it that humorous name because we've been told there's a lot of halibut in this area and some of them grow very big. All right, you prepared for that? Ooh, look at that. So the idea is that the halibuts will rise up from the bottom yep. and uh, come up and grab the bait. Because they're always looking up. So they're right. laying on the bottom yep. and looking up. Halibut fishing in Norway, Paul. I oh, know. <laughs> Stuff of dreams, isn't it? Isn't it? There's a fish on, Paul. There's a fish. <laughs> yeah. Strike him. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Are you in, Paul? Yeah. Yes. 
Jesus, Bob. This is a really big fish. Tell me, concentrate. Don't wind. <laughs> uh, when the fish comes up, yeah, you point the leader towards me, and I will land. Oh, okay. Him. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! This is a beast. Nice. Come on, keep reeling. See the fish now. <laughs> oh. oh my god! There we go. Wow. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, you. I mean. Okay. Oh. How many pounds would that be? It looks like sort of 40 pounds or something. 40? It's 100 pounds of halibut. No. Yes. 100 pounds. Is that the biggest fish you've ever caught? Uh, I've caught a sailfish bigger, but bigger. that's the second biggest, yeah. Magnificent. <laughs> Shall we let him go? We release all halibuts over 130 centimeters. Right. Yeah. All right, Jürgen, you do the honors right. there. So you lift his tail up now. Yeah. And you open the loop. And, and away. Wow. Blimey. 100 pounds. One? Hundred pounds of fresh, of fresh Norwegian, Norwegian halibut <laughs> from Alibutelli. <laughs> well, we're not wow. going to top that, Paul. No, we're not. Thank you, Jürgen. No worries. Yeah. Take us home. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a great day, wasn't it, Bob? Yeah, wasn't it? It's about to get better because I've invited one of Norway's top chefs. She's called Runa, and she's going to cook us a Norwegian Christmas dinner. Nice. For the main dish, we're going to have some amazing cod that we're going to pan fry yeah. with some creamy root mash and some local potatoes, local cabbage. Can I help you cook this delicious food? Of course Thank you can. Thank you. Of course you right, can. Right, well, let's get to it. You can actually start with the potatoes. OK. Hey, I'm a pretty good cook, right? Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you cook the meal, then? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Mac got you. 2022. Hey! Very brown. Great nose. Stale pub notes. Cool. So frying potatoes. Always important during Christmas to use a lot of butter. We've both got dicky hearts. Yeah, um, but one evening every year, so I think, yeah. I think it's going to be The fun. only thing is, is I use that excuse every day. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem, maybe. <laughs> I will start on your cod. We're going to add some thyme and some garlic. OK. And then it will be super nice. Oh. There we go, Paul. Norwegian Christmas dinner. Whoa. Cooked by Runa, but mainly by me. You didn't cook that, did you? Runa did yes, it I all. did. Runa did it all, didn't she? I cooked the cod, I cooked the potatoes. She dominated you in that kitchen, didn't she? She did. Yes. <laughs> she did. Bon appetit, Bob. Bon appetit to you, sir. That cod is amazing, the texture on that, Bob. Yeah, that's been caught by a magician, it must have been. Wonderful, yeah. God, it's amazing. Do you think you'd like to have this at Christmas, or would you prefer yeah, I would. turkey? This is a fantastic alternative, isn't it? Is this your first time in Norway? Yeah. I've always wanted to come for the salmon fishing. The only connection I can think of with Norway is that when, when my dad died, his favourite jumper was what they call a Norwegian fisherman's jumper, what he was very proud of. Really? He used to wear it all the time. And when he died, I nabbed it when I was a teenager as my jumper. Right. And I wore it right through. I know I wore it right through to my 30s, because I've got pictures of um, me wearing it when we were doing the big night out. It's one of my characters, yeah. And then when I was at, at some point in my 30s, I've lost it or it's or whatever. Yeah. And I was thinking, while we're in Norway, yeah. maybe I could find the exact fisherman's jumper. I know what it looks like. I've got a photo. Have you got a picture of it? Yeah. Yeah, there is. See that, Paul? That's me, early 30s, wearing my dad's jumper. 
Do you know, I just used to live in it, do you know what I mean? Do you know what, Bob? I vaguely remember you wearing that. I knew you were that age, didn't I? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Early 30s. Yeah. So that's a little job, isn't it? Try and find, you know, a little adventure, try and find one of them jumpers. Used to make me feel close to him, you know, in yeah. some way. Well, tell you what, that was a great day. I'm nearly convinced about this Christmas trip. Well done on your cuds. Thank you. What a beautiful dinner. And you for that amazing halibut. Yeah? That was some fish, Paul. Well, what a pleasant stay that was. Farewell, little yeah. island. This is like the Amalfi Coast, bendy, bendy. Bendy, bendy. Watch coast. the bus. Ooh. Ooh. Right, come on, Bob. We got a long drive. We're travelling all day today. Can we stop off at a jumper shop if we find one? See if we can get one like my dad's. Yeah. Hey, I could wait to the Gun Fishing Awards. Oh, we're having one of them again, are we? I can hardly wait, Robert. Away. I don't know what to say, say oh, look, Paul. This might be the sort of shop. I think you've got a very good chance, Bob. Hello. Hiya. That one there... Yes? ..is quite like Mads's, but this is blue. That's pretty trad fisherman, isn't it? We should try some on. All right. So I'll wait here, then, Bob. Oh, oh, indignant. Right, I'm going mustard. OK, come on, then. Look, it's simple procedure. Head, arm, arm. Pull down, all right? Yeah, I've made an error with this one. Oh. What if you put the head through the arm? No, it's not the right... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't read ah. it. Oh. Now, Bob, I really wasn't expecting <laughs> that. Maybe after the wrong wash. So is I it can... a bit small, yeah? <laughs> What one are you going for now? This is more like... Actually, it's got a slightly Christmas jumper vibe. OK. Do you know, remember that show, Jeremy Kyle? Yeah. Well, give me an intro. <laughs> and here he is, the man who actually stole his sister's wedding ring. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but look, at least that's a good length, isn't it? Are you going to try and fit on? Yeah, I've made a selection of things I'm going to try. And... OK, well, I'll yeah. view you then. Oh, OK, right. So the lie detector says... Wendy, this is your long-lost son! <laughs> oh, oh, that isn't bad. Yeah? That is not bad, It's actually. a bit Storm the White House, isn't, isn't it? it? Remember him? That's <laughs> exactly what it is. <laughs> and here, ladies and gentlemen, is the new mayor of Preston. What? Let's have it. <laughs> Would you want planning permission? Yes, please. What, for a new plot of land? Yeah. What, for an extension? Yeah, just a No, one. no oh. chance, son. Do one. <laughs> Hi, Minna. They were lovely jumpers, but see this picture here? This yep. is me when I was a lot younger, cos this was my dad's jumper. OK. And he always said it was a, like, a classic Norwegian fisherman's. I've seen it in blue over there. Yeah, we have but... it in black. Oh, you do have it? Yeah. Oh, may I? Where is it? I think we might be in, Paul. Oh, wow. That one's looked good. Yeah? Is this my size? Yeah, you want it a little bit big. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see? How am I looking there? I'm studying for an exam in science. I'll take it. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much indeed. I'm very pleased about that. Yeah? Very it's pleased. Good. It's great, actually. No, I'm really pleased for you, man. What a lovely thing to have got, eh? Yeah. The, uh... I met the Mayor of Preston in there. I've heard about him. He's really Larry, isn't he? I might move out of Preston. I promise you, we're going to a lovely place for um, our accommodation this evening. It's you by know. the sea, oh. overlooking the sea. It's uh. in a place called Knapp Straumann. Um, it's described as comfortable accommodation. I mean, you say it look, overlooks the sea. It's hard not to overlook the sea in this area, isn't it? It's sort of heaven up there, Bob. Yeah, it's a nice place, isn't yeah. it, babe? You've christmas it, haven't you? Well, thank you for noticing yeah, just a little well bit. well done, Bob. And I've got a nice little treat for you, Paul. Have you? 
Tomorrow I might have a, an old friend of ours popping around for breakfast. Who? Are you going to tell me who it is? No, but I'll give you a clue. Right. You won't be surprised that this person is in Norway. What? Are they Norwegian? I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Curious and curiouser. Anyway, cheers, Bob. Cheers. Happy Thanks Christmas for your bit and all Christmas that. fun. Cheers. See you in the morning. Yep. Poor breakfast. Some special scrambled eggs. Yes, that's great, Bob, but this is a bit of a head scratcher. What's that? Three place settings and three plates of breakfast. Yeah, because I told you we're special friends coming to visit us for breakfast. Mm. Here she is. Oh, he ka, ka, ka. Oh, oh, oh. Here hey. I am. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you. I'm struggling to get up. Thank you for coming. Well, I was just in neighbouring Sweden and yeah. I heard you guys were here, so I thought I'd um, pop what, in. You, and you popped to another country pop just in to and see say us. hello. But um, where's Ted? Oh, don't say that, Ulrika. He's not here. Oh. No. Oh, is that why, why I came? came. <laughs> 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 it is why I came. Right. Are we going in? Go, let's go in. Did you enjoy doing shooting stars, Ulrika? Yeah, I, I would say it was definitely one one of the, or if not the favourite job. It was good I fun, wasn't it? I never yeah. knew whether you were having fun, because it's a... The joy was getting paid to laugh every evening yeah. and not knowing what was happening, not knowing what was going to come about. Like that time you made me drink a pint of tomato soup. Uh, <laughs> So, Ricky, yeah, it's our Christmas show. So, can I interrogate you about a Swedish Christmas? Mm. The Swedes are really good, actually. They don't start with all Christmas decorations and Christmas cards in August. It comes mm. quite late, so you're not fed up of Christmas by the time it comes around. It all happens on Christmas Eve. That's what? the what big day. Big ham, my own meatballs, sausages, salmon. It's a smorgasbord. They're healthy eaters, the Swedes. Yeah, I mean, I think they've always been known for eating a lot of fish. They do like their meat, mm. though. And traditionally, right. when I grew up, if you sat down for a meal at a table, all the men, everybody would be drinking a glass of milk with their meal. Isn't that weird? I used to drink milk as a kid, but it doesn't feel like a drink anymore. No, it I feels like punishment. That. Yeah. You do all the cooking for the... Yeah, food. yeah. And I normally, the Swedish stuff, I normally start doing that sort of... October, November time, start Whoa. freezing it and you whatever. You start cooking it in October. Well, <laughs> I do freeze it. <laughs> do you yeah, find... it tastes lovely by December mm. the 24th. Hey, Ulrika, I lost my... I have a little cat called Mavis. She was my best mate. Oh, and right. she used to sit with us at Christmas dinner with a little, you know, napkin on. No way. Meat. And I'm going to miss her so much. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's your first Christmas without her. Without Mavis. And you, you've lost a couple of good friends this oh, year. Oh, gosh, you? yeah. <clears throat> well, I've lost... Um, three bulldogs in the space of four years now, whatever. And the last ones, the last two went a year ago, yeah. I don't it's mean heavy, to play no. top you two, but I lost my mum. So this is going to be oh. my first Christmas without my mum, really? all right? Oh, dear. So you can put your cats put and your bulldogs and dogs away. to one side, Fair all right? Enough. Fair enough, yeah. absolutely. No, no. But do you know what I mean in a way? I think, I, I suspect you'll really remember your mum on that day. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. You, when you sit down. Yeah, and, of course, yeah. But I think in like, yeah. quite a positive way, because hopefully they're Christmas Day's good memories. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't, I'm not really undermining your loss of your cats. <laughs> and, no, because, you know, the unconditional love you get from a pet is yeah. not to be underestimated, is yeah. it? You know. Hey, so this Christmas, we'll all remember your mum. Well, yeah. My Mavis. Your Mavis. Mm. What your... were yours called? Oh, Nessie and Fella. <laughs> God bless them. God bless them. Thanks for coming, Ulrika. Well, it's been great, yeah, no. because um, I got to taste your scrambled eggs and a little bit sad about Ted, yeah. but... Mm. Mm. So, you, you're all right to walk to the airport, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a horse waiting outside. Hey, hey, hey. hey. She's sweet, isn't she, Ulrika? Hats off to her for dropping off to see us, because yeah. she could have just gone straight home. Yeah. And, and not bothered with not us. Not bothered. 
Right, let's have a break from the sea fishing boat and try a bit of fresh water, shall we? OK. Yeah, for some Arctic charm, no less. Wow! Well, isn't this idyllic? Isn't it? Stores are in it. Look, I've even planted a few Christmas trees for you. <laughs> now, what do we know about fishing rivers and lakes, Bob? What do we need, most of all? Stealth. 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 I can't wait to get started. I'll have a little pop it out and see what happens. Go, go, go. Oh, it goes out fair way, doesn't it? We'll let that sink down a little bit. Lovely rainbow over there, Bob, look. See? Oh, wow. It's coming on Christmas. They're cutting down trees. They're putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. I wish I had a river I could skate away on. But it don't snow here. Stays pretty green. I'm gonna make a lot of money, then I'm gonna quit this crazy scene. I wish I had a river. There was a little movement over there. I could skate away ha! Tricky, isn't it, Bob? I'm not doing too bad, but yeah. So long, I would teach my feet to. I wish I had a river I could skate away on. I'm going to just go down here and have a go with the fly, Bob. There's a fish down there, just beyond that first Christmas tree. OK. I'm a bit worried about you, that I might hook you. Oh, I wouldn't worry about me, Paul. I've got tough old elephant hide. <laughs> <laughs> Nice fishing. Yes, I'm teaching this uh, old fella called Paul Whitehouse, yeah. He enjoys it now, in no skills. Who are you talking to, your imaginary friend again? No, my gloves. <laughs> ah, was that you, Bob? Was that you? Yes, it was all right, See? I just batted it away. Right, I'm moving. If you're going over there, I might do you a little bit of lunch. Would you like that? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Follow your nose. Food's ready. I saw you fishing over there like a trooper. Did it look good? It looked good, but... All to no avail. A wonderful place to be, though, isn't it? It is. It truly is. Bob, you've christmas the place. I wondered if you'd notice it. Look. And there we have it. Arctic char. There you go. Have you ever tasted it before? Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, I have eaten Arctic char, Bob, but not in such an extraordinary setting. Do you have such a thing as cutlery? Just tuck in, it's like a... I can't do that. Do you think I'm a bear? I'm so much more outdoorsy than you, you know what I mean? I'll use my hands. Mm. I commute with the bears, the pigeons. You commute with them? Yeah. Do you mean commune? Commune. <laughs> See you on the train in the morning. <laughs> oh, an morning bear. <laughs> morning pigeon.
Paul, I've been thinking yeah. about your suggestion that Christmas should be once every four years. Uh -huh. And I'm finding it slightly difficult to argue against, which concerns me. I've turned you, haven't I? Would you really be willing to compromise on a two-year turnaround? Yes. How about that? Really quick, wasn't I, there? I think I might be up for it, Paul. Wouldn't it be great, then, when it came round? Year on, year off. Yeah. Who do we, who do we put it to? Well, when in doubt, write to the army. That's what, what I say. What if they really enforced it? Yeah. Army! Army! <laughs> Jay and Bobble's there! Get out of the floor! No to get out! Get a tree down! It's next year! <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah. Because okay. a law is only as good as its enforcement, do you know what I mean? Eh? Yeah, true. Anyway, look at this, Bob. Look at it. Look. I saw something, Paul, that when we're driving up to the Maelstrom, mm. This absolutely extraordinary little church. All right. Do you fancy having a look? Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So you're up for it? Yeah, yeah. I think we should have a look. There it is, Flagstad Church. Very oh, pretty, eh? It is pretty. Yeah. The fascinating thing about this, Bob, is that it contains a memorial to fishermen that have died between 1850 and 1950. Some of them, possibly, in the maelstrom. In the maelstrom. I thought Ooh. you were going to say that. Let's go in there. Hey, oh, what? Oh, that's all the fish. Yeah. So sad. Look at the ages. Yeah. 17. Oh, I mean, 15. Uh, that's no life, is it? Hey, listen up. Yeah. It's our final accommodation we're driving to. Just you follow the directions. Yes. Not too far. You haven't gone for anything snazzy or, you know, that sort of gimmicky, have you? Not going to tell you a thing about it. Paul, I should just ask, have you bought something nice to wear for the award ceremony? Gone fishing awards? <sighs> They're hard to win. They're really hard to win. Really? It seems like walking the park for you and Ted. I do seem to do very well, yeah. It's funny, that, isn't it? What I'll do, right, is I'll put on one of my special shirts for you, all right? Oh, nice one. I've even brought a shoe with me. Just the one. Just the one shoe. Yeah, just the one, yeah. Oh, it's nice, Paul. The old fishermen's or fishermen's sort of accommodation. Oh, it is. This is A, the town of A, oh, the well, village it's, of A. It's pronounced O. Oh. O. Oh. Yeah, because it's got a little symbol on top. Like a kumquat type kind of thing. Of, <laughs> like, a, bit, a bit like a quince. Look at those waves over there. Look. Whoa! Yeah. I mean, it might have changed by tomorrow, but it might have got worse when we go out worse. on the maelstrom. It would be awful if we couldn't go. It would be, but I'll tell you what, it don't look promising, does it? It doesn't. Come on, Paul, we've got to get ready for the awards ceremony. Let's uh, go. Yes, tonight's yeah. the night. My feet have barely touched the ground, Bob. Yeah? Yeah. Who's gonna win the big award? Who's gonna get a round of applause? Well, this is a lovely, intimate venue. Yeah, yeah, great, isn't it? Who's presenting the awards tonight, Bob? Who have you got someone like Graham Norton, Richard Iowaddy? No, it's me in my jumper. See, I really want to have a go at you, but I can't. Does it look good? But the fact that it's the sort of end of a little journey for you, you know, and you, that kind of reconciliation with your dad. Yeah. It does look good on you, I have to say. 
Let's toast your dad and my mum. To dad. Well, let's hope they're not getting up to any funny business up there. <laughs> right, Paul. I think it's time for the Gone Fishing Awards ceremony. Yeah, you're nominated for the awards, OK? OK, yeah. I want you to demonstrate your face when the award goes to Rob Brydon or me, OK? Right. OK? OK. And the award goes to Rob Brydon. That's about right. That's about right. That's right. about right, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. So, welcome to the Gone Fishing uh, Annual Awards. My name's Bob Mortimer. I'm the lead angler in the show, assisted by uh, the other fella. Come on in, what's the okay. first category? Employee of the Year. Let's have a look at the nomination. Oh, look at you. I'm actually fishing quite professionally at the You're moment. fishing very well there, Bob. What's your cheeks? What's your gorgeous punch in the cheeks? <laughs> Bit far, Bob. It's that strength. Don't wind! Winding moron. Oh, oh, don't want him. Wind it in, but wind it. Wrong rod! Wrong rod! If you wind again, I will throw you in that lake. It's just a catalogue of disaster Did so Did you do far. a funny look, then? No, not at all. Ted's really showing up. You know, it's like having George Clooney around, <laughs> doesn't it? Can you shift over a bit, Ted? I'll do all right, son. Yeah, I know you will. Ted's making a late, strong showing, isn't he? He's going to win it, isn't he? <laughs> it's now on Scotty, mate. Here we go, Paul, Employee of the Year. Yeah. 2022. And the winner is... Paul Whitehouse, Employee of the Year. Get out! How does that feel? Got a little trophy for you. What? Employee of the Year 2022. I don't believe it, Bob. Wow, what a trophy. Look at that. You want to say a few words? Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone I know, everyone who's helped me on the path to glory. This is the big one. This is the pin. Can we wrap it up now? <laughs> this bloke's a bore. <laughs> uh, Get him yeah. off the screen. Thank you so much. It means, it means, it really does mean the world. Thank you. Thank well done, Paul. Thank you, Bob. Next category. Yep. Is catch of the year. There was some nice fish this year. Yeah. Whoop, yeah. It's a grayling. <laughs> yes. Is that a fish? Yeah. Or is it? It's a tree. No. No, it's a no, fish it's and a, fish. a tree. Yes. <laughs> is that your barber? Oh my yeah. My God, look at it. Look at that fish, <sighs> Paul. <laughs> that. Magnificent, beautiful, common <laughs> top. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. <laughs> this is the big one for me. Yep. This is the one I want. Yeah, just because you know you've won it. I don't know I've won it. Okay. But I should have won it. Here we go. Here's the winner of Catch of the Year. Hi, lads. Now, I've always been reliable in the field, but this catch was something else. And it was achieved with style and grit. Yes! Get him, Freddy! So, Catch of the Year goes to... Bob Stokes Mortimer. Keep fishing. It's right as well, you know. Yeah, he's right. Come to think. Here's the award for Catch of the Year. Well, I'm not giving it to you. Oh, you <laughs> 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 Catch of the Year. It's got the fish. Look at that's me on the top with the little hat there and the great big Having bucket. Having wound in too much, yeah. <laughs> Snow's falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. Morning, Paul. Oh, you're away? Yeah. Oh, it's Maelstrom Day. Paul, I don't feel that well this morning. I've got a terrible cough. <laughs> oh, blimey, that Did is Did you bad. hear it? Yeah, it did. <sighs> I don't know whether it's safe mm. for me to go out like this. I can see the fear in your eyes, Bob. So I've arranged to meet a bloke called Magnus, and he's going to give us some reassurance before we head into the maelstrom. <laughs> there goes that cough again. Oh, terrible, isn't it? Oh, it's bad, isn't it? Oh, I just remember the awards for what a night. Oh my God, he slept with it. Magnus, we need to pick your brain. What is it like, the Maelstrom? Oh, it's really cool because it's uh, made of the tide water mm -hmm. here in Lofoten. 
Yeah. So it's the water going from the, one of the sides of the Lufen Islands yeah. to the other one, yeah. and it creates this maelstrom. And it is a vast, swirling, boiling tide race. Yeah? Yes. Where there are a lot of big concentration of bait fish. Yes, it is. And so all the predators come in. It's like a like a vortex. Kind yes, of, and yes. many swirling, boiling bits of water that could spell instant death. And do boats disappear into it? Yes, they used to. So in the old days, when they had the rowing boats, yeah. they would go out to catch, catch the fish, and then some of them would disappear, yes. You're going to be fine, Bob. Do you think yes. I should go? Would you say it's an experience worth having? For sure. For an, sure? An experience for a lifetime, yes. yes. I feel like I'm about to do a parachute jump or something. Seems a bit like that, isn't yeah. it? Is that our skipper? Is that who's taking us out? That's our boss, Paul. He's English, actually. Oh, is he? Yeah. Morning, guys. Hey, Hello, Paul. Paul. How's it doing? We're ready to go. Look, yeah. I've even persuaded Bob that he's man enough for the maelstrom. It's uh, a bit dangerous out there. We've got uh, wind against tide out there as well, so five, six metre swells. A bit I'm all right with a bit dangerous. Well, Paul. yeah, he doesn't mind a bit of danger. The boats will cope with it, but uh, I don't know if you will, and I want to bring you back, so. It's like life-threatening, yeah. Thing. We've got another alternative. There's uh, another maelstrom and uh, not very far up the road. Well, you've got some maelstroms up here, haven't you? <laughs> we <laughs> have, yeah. Finally. We'll give it a go up there and see if we can catch some fish. Come on, then, Paul. Let's go. Maybe this maelstrom will be a better maelstrom. Oh, look at it up ahead. <laughs> it's just going to eat us, Paul. Out. It's going to be rough. So we will just head out, not throw them, and then we right. see. All right. Christmas in the maelstrom. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. 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 Forget the tree. Forget the comforts. Forget all that. Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> You'll face down your fears, Bob. And think of the you that will emerge at the other end. Yeah, battered, bruised, triumphant. <laughs> Traumatised. What fish might we catch? Coalfish? Never heard of it. No, really strong fish. Right? Yeah. Beautiful fish as well. Hey, all that. Here we go, Bob. Hey! Oh, look at it here, look. A boiling, roiling torrent of anger. Ten top sailor! Oh, look. look. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> hey! Whoa! Get him! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> That's the fella! That's the fella! Whoa! Guys, this is uh, pretty rough, eh? Yep. Uh, we can't really go out in this. Really? We need to think safety first. Whoa, look at that. Oh, look. Whoa! Let's try. Oh, no. Yeah, fair enough. Turn up here, abandon, yeah. abandon, <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> so, Bob, like many before and many hereafter, yeah, we were defeated by the maelstrom. Yeah, quite quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. We, were, we saw it, we legged it. Yeah. Oh, we gave it a go. Yeah, we did. It was health and safety, wasn't it? It really was, health wasn't it? Safety. Yeah. Come on then, let's get back. Here we are home. But I've got a smile on my face, Paul, because yeah? tonight's Christmas dinner. Lovely. There we are. That's the start. Oh, that would be faster than a prison, maybe. 
Oh, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. What are you doing? I thought we could have a trapped Christmas dinner. I've got trapped turkey and trapped sprouts, which I didn't know you could get. You up for it? Really, Bob? I don't... I'll just go open that for you, yeah? See what you think, then? What do you think? Oh! <laughs> Wallop! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Shall we not? No. Can we not? Blimey. OK, it was just... We've that. already eaten our body weight in food since we've been That's here, That's true. We? But come on. Oh. oh, look at that. Hey, you like? I do like. Is there only one bit I don't like? Is that? What bit? You know very Oh, the well. trophy, yeah. Hey! Yes. That's my special Christmas centrepiece. Gone fishing <laughs> Christmas cake. Wow, that's brilliant. The little Ted. Little Ted there. Oh. That's a bit sad he's not here, isn't it? Yeah, he's been in the other Christmas shows. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, how have you found it being away, you know, Christmas? Increasingly, oh, as the days have passed, I've missed my home, my family. Yeah. But that's my age, Paul. Yeah, you know, that, that's a factor, isn't it, big time? You just, you know, you don't like to be away from your comfort zone. No. You know the thing they say, if you're in your comfort zone, you're not living. Well, I don't think that applies when you get to our age. No, you need I to don't. be well in your comfort zone. Yeah, I agree totally. Well, maybe we should go home then. Should we go home? Oh, for sure. Do you yeah. want me to take you home now, yeah. Bobby? I've enjoyed it. OK. So. Well, let's, let's have one last night of excess and indulgence. OK, no. Okay. Yeah? I'll drink to that. And then we'll go home. We'll go home. Merry Christmas, right. Paul. Mm. Oh, hello. Oh, oh there it wow. is. Wow. Look at that barble. Handsome fella holding it, look. Yeah, even yeah. more handsome fella. No, not though. really. Silly pumping fist, man. Could it... I might get it cropped. Just get cropped yeah. about there like that. Okay. But thank you very much, Bob. No worries. Do you want but some cake? I'd love a bit of cake, actually. Sorry, I didn't get anything. That's all right, Paul. You brought me here, didn't you? Yeah. Hey! Do you really think I didn't get you anything for Christmas? Yeah, you just said you did. Yeah, no, but wait. Just wait there. Oh, Got a little no. Christmas miracle for you. What? What? Oh, yes. Come in. Come on. You've had something delivered. Hey, look at that. It's Ted. Ted! <laughs> we will be lonely this Christmas without me at home. Magic. Oh, that. Wow, Christmas magic. He's not very good at saying it. will be cold, so we'll come home without you at home. It's a Christmas. Happy Christmas, you two muppets. Wherever you are. Oh. Oh. And away. And away. Merry Christmas, Ted. Oh, 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 oh. It has been a wonderful trip. But I think it's time to go out, don't you, Bob? Merry Christmas, son. Merry Christmas to you.